So, <laughs> promoting. Here we go. Support black colleges. You see it. Support black colleges. I'm going to put that information somewhere on the screen so you can follow them on the gram, follow them on social media, get you some nice clothing like this right here. Also, got to support my mans. I went to school with this dude, Action Graphics. You know, he did the, the net gator. He did the hat that you see before you. And also, shout out to Tabby. She did the painting you see before you. It says, Dear A and T. Follow her at The Black Onion on social media. Hey, what's happening, man? It's your boy Dion checking in. Welcome to the buffet. One thing about it, two things for sure, you're going to get good conversation and good motivation. You know what's so dope about this, man? Yo, man. Everybody up here went to the HPC. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody yeah. Came, like, came all the way through, too. Yeah. Most definitely. So. We made it, bro. We we oh, the, right. the talented tenth, as, as as Marcus would say. Like we yeah. act opposite of what they want to put on the TV screen. Oh so, yeah, yeah that's, that's a great segue. You know what, Dominic? I think that's the perfect. <laughs> you know what? Hey, we ain't about to waste another second. So no, my work. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into that topic of today. If y'all can't pay, if y'all didn't pick up on the hints in the background. HBCUs. Let's talk about it. So, of course, you know, after the whole George Floyd incident, after a lot of other events that transpired over time, all of a sudden HBCUs are in the limelight. I want to know why y'all feel like HBCUs are in the limelight right now, as well as some of your thoughts on HBCU significance and things of that nature. And Will, we're going to go ahead and kick it off with you, man. How you feel about HBCUs being in the limelight right now? I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> I think it's it's cool to see, uh, you know, especially have gone to the greatest HBCU in the land, North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, um, <laughs> <laughs> where the illustrious, we, the, the illustrious. <laughs> so I think this is a great thing. You, start you know what? You know what? See, see, do we not doing this today? Come on now, <laughs> come on now. It's HBCU, so we are doing this. Oh, right, hey, we're we gonna get to the swag. We're gonna get to the swag. I promise you, but we're we'll, we'll oh, we gonna get to the whack. You said the what? <laughs> the swag. He said the swag. He the said swag. the swag. Oh, okay. oh, 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 that's, oh, okay. That's the swag. We, 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 all goes down. All go downhill. Yes, down. So this is what go. Go. I do believe. I do believe you it's cool to see you like that. The issue <laughs> that I find, the issue that I find with HBCUs getting all this love all of a sudden is that it's just like, we didn't just come to exist. Like, we've exactly. been here. We've been established for so long. What was it, 1837? When um, Cheney University was founded? And it's 2021. Now, all of a sudden, everybody like, you know what? Let's go and put HBCUs on everything. I, I can't stand seeing businesses use it to make profit. And there and I I don't care what anyone says. Um Carters, the baby clothes, um Target, it's another one. Shoot, even the NBA, they're not giving enough money to HBCUs to be sitting there um saying hey we love y'all too i guarantee this is probably gonna last maybe one more year tops because like you said george floyd had to die and then they paid attention or whatever i remember i was on campus at ant coming out of gibbs hall when um when ant students we did a protest like we laid on the ground for trayvon martin or whatever we laid on the ground for it was seven minutes, but I I had a hoodie on today. I was hot. That's how I know, you know whatever. <laughs> but it was just one of those things that was like, you know, like the HBCUs have done so much in the uh, students of HBCUs, alumni, all that type of stuff. We've done a lot in this <clears throat> in this country, yet it's just now getting noticed. I don't know if it's because of the likes of Chris Paul, who I have tremendous respect for, um, putting it out there. But why did like someone have to die or why does someone of stature have to say hey hbcus need some credit hbcus are dishing out some real things like i find issue with that we love the limelight don't get me wrong 
I think that it's cool that we're getting our um it's not a fair share, so I can't say that, but I think it's cool that now you know a couple people have to watch our names go across the board, but it's nothing that makes up for so many years of BS. So I feel it. I respect that. I now, if you want to go, now if you want to go, my maroon brother, then by all means, <laughs> maroon brother. That's why we go. Listen to the word maroon. Like you're so wrong and unnecessary. I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm chill. I'm chill. <laughs> I'm chill. <laughs> Is that you good? What you say? Oh, oh, okay. I was, I was just trying to make sure. I was trying to make sure. If y'all going to give me the floor. Just what happens, you. ladies and gentlemen. I just want y'all to know. So, uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. You know, y'all know my thing uh, for it all. Any publicity is good publicity. And the thing is, man. I, I realized that, you know, it has been like decades and decades of us being at the bottom of the totem pole. But to me, I'm looking at it as in this is a start. You know, now that we are getting the light, let's really make it shine, you know, and not let, let's just make it shine in the, the sports area. Let's let's hit these, these bands. Let's get these engineering uh, projects going. Let's show the world that this, this is what we doing. We ain't we we probably ain't made Wakanda, but it's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> like, and we got some great students and everything. So I I I uh I truly think that this is like our time to shine. And even when uh, uh prime time coming to Jackson State to coach, <laughs> I mean that that's that's a big move. Uh, and oh, it's, it's it's good. That is huge. It I, like who would have thought an NFL legend. Coming to HBCU, like I'm pretty sure he could have went to anywhere else, you know, PWIs and all that stuff. But he came to a HBCU and said, "I gotta take care of my own." That caused him more attention to us, and then they get with more attention, bring more attention, brings more money. <laughs> and and I, I, I and I, I was thinking about this. Now our next big move would be not to mess this up. Like, let's stay in the light and let's keep it. Let's show that like, we got a football player that can run the 4-1 speed and all that stuff. Let, let's make sure that we we just make sure that we uh we carry it out and make sure when we holding that light, we just make it shine brighter and brighter each and every year until it comes out. Because I one thing I learned from Kevin Hart is you never know when that light might burn out. So you mm. gotta you gotta use it while you can. So of course, if Chris Paul wanna wear the shoes, if LeBron wanna make the shoes and put HBCUs on the map, let's take let's go for it. But at the same time, let's make sure that we do something with the uh <clears throat> let's make sure we do something with the light as well. Because it, it, it's our it, it's our time. Like we 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 getting money from places and I will hold all of our presidents are using it to good use and like trying to spruce up the campus, make sure everything is good, make sure that students have what they need, make sure they're getting out there. <clears throat> like our, our STEM students got what they need. Let's make our programs better. English pro uh, students got what they need. Let, let's not just play with the money now. I don't want to see another statue on campus and talking about <laughs> this was the world's greatest president. On, on the campus, uh, no, that's a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a question, but that's yeah. my way of thinking about it. I got a question no. for you, Zay. Well, I won't say for Zay for everybody. Was you about to was you about to say something? Mike, excuse me for interrupting. No, no, no. I was going. I was going to um, co-sign what he said. I was going to be like, yo, that's, that was real. That was, real. and that's that's a good perspective to look at it because I like what's happening right now. You got, <laughs> hey. You got uh, the combination of the past and the future. Zay saying, hey, we got it now. Moving forward, let's do this. We got Will saying, hey, we've been around this long. Why are we just not getting our shine? I love it. Past, present, or not. Past, future. Uh, Marcus, what are you about to say with it? 
So Zayn uh, mentioned something a little while saying that we um, want to make sure that we don't mess up uh, in, in his, you know, this is what we have. Let's keep it going. Let's not mess it up. And, you know, I don't know. How, how can we mess it up is my question. Like, what, what kind of things would make this whole uh, publicity that we're receiving not, uh, how can we not get it anymore? Oh, well, I can I can answer that. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> the the threat is within the insider threat within. You know, if we mismanage the funds that we've been blessed with and take it mm -hmm. the wrong direction, um, right now, ANC football. I I say ANC football because you know that's you know you know we've been winning the celebration bowls every year we yeah, go. Yeah, you know, yeah, if yeah, if, yeah. if we don't capitalize off of this wave or any HBCU that's dominating right now. Right now, we got Tariq Cohen in the league. We got a slew of HBCU students in the league right now. Once a lot of other athletes see, hey, I can make it to the league going to an HBCU. I can get that experience and achieve my lifelong goal of going to the league. Let's be real. Even DeMarcus Cousins and a lot of other athletes said, the reason I went to the college that I did is to have a better shot at the league. That's from the athletic standpoint. Now, from the academic standpoint, once you start seeing the people like, the Wayne Kimballs getting jobs at Google, um, engineers and other people getting these jobs in a lot of respectable fields like Amazon or getting STEM degrees and even things like animal science, veterinarians out here doing their thing. We just got to continue to have those high performers put them on display because I hate to say it, what we don't do a good job of is giving people flowers while they can still smell them. We got to definitely put people on the right pedestal when it's time to. Kamala Harris, say what you want about her. Not just the first minority, <laughs> but the first female to hold that position came from an HBCU. Because guess what? Whether people want to admit it or not, over the years, they have looked at HBCUs as inferior. But most of the performers right now, most of the superior performers right now that are minorities, guess where they're coming from? So that's how you keep it going. Just continue <laughs> that consistent high level of performance. Back to back to back to back, no scandals, no shenanigans, no foolishness. Let's keep this money rolling. By the way, y'all, Domo the Don is in the building. Yeah, hey Dom, go and introduce yourself for the people. Uh, I think you did already. You know, what's, right. up? <laughs> what's up, everybody? It's Domo. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm coming in late. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to listen to what y'all um, got going on. Y'all talking about HB yeah. skills and absolutely because you know. they're amazing. Uh, are already amazing. Sarcastically, right? So you know, you know Marcus, you're you're a nostalgic man. You go back and watch Martin. They got the hoodies with Morehouse. They got the hoodies with Howard. Black people mm. in this position before, right? They've been HBCUs have been graduating successful graduates for a very long time. Yep. So why is everybody so happy with this one to two year window of support? Man. That we're still talking about because guess what happens? That's going to end. So the issue for me is not getting other people's support, it's getting black people's support, right? People complain all the time. Bro, black people have their own schools and they won't go to them. Mm. You got your own schools and people won't go to them. We don't even financially fund our own schools, bro. I'm not, I'm speaking in a broad sense, bro. You got to mm -hmm. think if we've been putting out successful graduates for all these years, then why is our stuff so run down? But we waiting on the lady from Amazon to give us X amount of millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? We won't do it ourselves. So like I was telling Mike, it's cool to give money to the school, but will you hire the graduates, bro? Like, like it's easy. This is what happens. Everybody gets hyped, and then, but you don't see the effects of something to two or three years down the line. You don't see whether something actually had an input and impact until later. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know the impact this will have because that money will be gone on cutting grass and and whatever. You know what I'm saying? But what would it actually make a real impact is yet to be determined. Don't get me wrong, man. You're gonna take the money for sure. But I'm saying, is it strategically going to what? it needs to go to, you know what I'm saying? I think black people as a, as a whole have to just begin to, HBCUs never fell off, bro. We all went to one. 
everybody you just named, the people you just named, Kamala, she didn't inspire me to go to no HBCU. You know what I'm saying? She became the president after I graduated. I mean, vice president after I graduated. So we've been, you know what I'm saying? HBCU's been at the forefront. It just depends on your viewpoint of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have to we have to believe that they all are cracked up to be whether they donate or not and treat it that way. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's off topic, but whatever. Well, so no, that was spot of, on. That was perfect. Yeah, I think, I I think um, so two times we've heard that, you know, this, this train that we're on is going to end. And I don't, I don't exactly agree with it. I think in, into, in our society today, you know, with how big social media is, I think social media is going to play a pretty big part in kind of, keeping, you know, all the all the publicity that the HBCUs are getting, I think. And it's so it's a it's a um it's a thing to do that now. Like companies understand that and it sucks that I'm gonna say it like this, but I think companies understand that they have to be inclusive of the HBCU in order for their company to make go far and, and prosper. Uh, I believe I believe that's a thing now. I think I think it's apparent to companies that that needs to happen. So when you talk about something exp- uh, ending, I don't, I don't know exactly if, if this wave that we're on is going to, is if it's going to die down just because we're in that type of like. I mean, when you talk about um, same sex marriage or, or or same sex, you know, uh, interest, like that's 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 a thing now. That's a that's a part of life, mm-hmm. you know. And it's gotten that way because you know there are so many different protests and there's so many different movements and things like that so i kind of believe that the same thing is going to happen with this hbcu movement and i say movement because i don't think it's going to be a movement for long i think it's just going to be a way of life if that makes any sense and that's why that's why i think it's not going to die down i understand that's what oh go ahead i'm sorry all right see that's what i said man like while the light is shining on us we got to make sure that we we shine bright because let let's let's just keep it a buck. Let's just keep it a buck. The only the uh, there are a couple of things that would get us out the light where we become a liability than as an asset, <clears throat> and that's you know what they like to get us for hazing. You know if if that comes, that's we're a liability at that point. You know, and you you got other stuff that goes on administration not using the money right. Uh, it, it's just a whole lot of things because. You know, when you want the light, you got to take the heat that come with it, too, <laughs> because you it, it's going to you. They're going to be digging into your stuff. And and when they put the light on an HBCU, bro, uh, uh, an HBCU, you better believe they're going to be digging for any and everything to get that light back out off of us. So to that point, so, as well, mm. if anybody, whoever was about to speak, go ahead and go. All right. So oh, I think. So I think, all right, look, so I, I what, what Dom said, what Dom said, he was like, uh, you know, we as black people have to put that pressure and put that emphasis on our HBCUs. We have to give in to them or whatever, like let them have that light. Like they, they give us a line, like, let's make it work. But the reason why I can't totally agree with the emphasis that it's like this movement will keep going is because we've seen that things don't keep going yet. They own the moment. They do hardly, they do some things wrong, but most of it's good. Like think about it. Facebook took over social media. Mind you, they didn't create social media. They just ma- made it in a new broader way. Right. And Facebook is one of those things. that's kind of like, it's an afterthought. Then Instagram came in, Well, actually Twitter came or whatever. It became a huge thing. Instagram came, became a huge thing. Thing, Snapchat, Clubhouse, like, and mind you, social media was not new, but it kept moving. It moved on to the next thing, and I think what we're saying is that HBCUs right now are cash cow. When you say that you support one, when you say that you donated to them, oh, when yeah. you say that we love you, we, we gonna we we gonna put that money into you. Like that. That's one of the things I think kind of is messed up about the thing. I thought. The idea of it is because they know that we as black people love our HBCUs. We love to rep them. We love to say we went to them. We love to show them all. So if I see that Target got or Walmart got an A&T sweatshirt and it's a reasonable price, not bookstore, I'm going to cop it. I just put money into their pocket for them and I put it back into ours. 
Whereas we could have went to our, our bookstore and said, you know, I'm a cough up 20 to 30 more dollars to put it back into my school in some form of fashion. By the way, I want to say that this train will never end. We've been using that term a little loosely and incorrectly. <laughs> so let me just kind of say that real quick. This train will never end. But yeah, I feel you will. I just had to kind of put that out because I used that and then it started getting used too much. It's like, nah. yeah, <laughs> you wasn't talking about that train, though. You was talking about another. Yeah, we're talking about different trains. I caught you. Let I caught me be clear. You. Let me be clear. Yeah, that train's never stopped. I got stuff to do right now. <laughs> That's pretty much all I was saying is like, yo, we have to sustain and keep it what it is, bro. Because like he said, you know, it'll be the next thing in a year. You know, we have to make sure that, you know, saying we rep a and <clears throat> <clears throat> to the fullest, you know what I'm saying? To make sure a and <clears throat> is at the forefront. <laughs> And our, our little sisters and brother uh HBC. <laughs> no. so, so if you if you want if you want your alumni to donate money, just say that. I'm so, if you want to make all everybody HBC. play their alumni dudes, just say that. I don't think endowments, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all HBCUs, man. <laughs> yeah. But no, you you you're absolutely right. And that's why I can praise the dude that um maybe i shouldn't say praise but that came to uh morehouse and wiped out everybody's student loans oh the real estate like, yeah that was a big that that to me means that it got a it, it it was a step forward you know having a big donor come in and be like okay you know this is a problem that you know most students have and most of us have is just you know trying to start a life with after college, you know, uh, what if what if they were to say, you know, you can go to college and if you don't get a job, you don't, you don't have to worry. Uh, if you don't get a job in your field, you don't got to worry about the student loan. That would be great. Right. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, we all we all got to uh, I think it's up to us, the younger generation that comes up. We see the problems and everything. Let's not let's not go and try to. um like act like the the people that have made it now let's come back and feed into back into our communities our colleges man like you know if i if i make a billion dollars and then probably get a hundred thousand <laughs> no but seriously though i'm gonna make sure that i take care of some people that are behind me you know y'all know i got the scholarship thing that i uh, do and give students scholarships to come to um to go to any college, really. Uh, it hurts my heart when I gave one to uh, Alabama State student, but it's okay. He's doing good. <laughs> I just I just wanted to, you know, let him uh, just give that money out to say, you know what? He, he will never forget that moment that somebody said, you know, give me a chance. And I took it and ran with it. Not go back and bless somebody else. And that's what we got to uh, continue to do. You you know you can make a you can make a change where you are now. You don't have to have a you don't have to be a millionaire or anything else. It can start with something small as in going back to your high school and telling students like, look, I did this in college, I did that. Have your fun, but at the same time, get your work. It can just start as a little seminar and then grow from there. So and that's why I say, man, it we. We just have, and I, I agree with Don. We got, we got to take care of our own. We can't okay. expect anybody else to take care of it because we know we know the hard horror stories. We know what what those dorms need. We know what those buildings are lacking. So why not just start with us? It you got to build from the inside. All right, so I got a question to y'all. If because three out of five guys on this call fall in this category, if you pay out of state tuition. Do you have to donate? Because you pretty much did up front. Mm. That was a joke we used to run all the time. Like, <laughs> so it be like, we used to say, uh, man, I'm about to take one of these chairs home. Why? I pay for these chairs. I pay out of state tuition. <laughs> I pay for it tenfold. <laughs> oh, dude. No, but on a super serious note, um, because of course, I mean, four out, four out of five, the well, majority of the buffet is out. We have the programs, go to high school, go to college, things like that. 
<laughs> hey, bro. Hey, hey. We got love for you, Dom. Come we back, got love for you, Dom, man. Hey. Come back, we need, bro. Hey, bro. We need you. We need no, that I'm different perspective. Okay. <laughs> we do. Yeah. No, but seriously. Um, mom hit that finger. He was like, that's my cue. <laughs> <laughs> no, but on a super serious note, um, we got programs in place like go to high school, go to college, things like that. But I think one thing that we forgot along the way is the how to pay for it. You know, it was more so an emphasis on getting them out the door, getting them their diploma and then getting them to a degree. I think one thing we could do better with the next generation is being more financially savvy with it. You know, so just teaching them, hey, if you know for a fact that school is not going to be your thing, go get a trade. You know, we need plumbers. We need these blue collar jobs. Those people are making bands as well. If you are, if you have more of an entrepreneurial mindset, you know, go ahead and let's figure out a business plan for you to do your thing or get a bunch of, I'm pretty sure there's some entrepreneurs in the fray. <laughs> Be like, hey, I'm going to pair you up with brother so-and-so and you you two can come up with a business plan to make this thing really, really blow up. You know, I think it's, it's that kind of guidance that we need to pass on to the next generation because the, the, the next generation, they're very tech savvy. They're smart. They're gadget smart. <laughs> they just don't know how to maneuver. I'm not going to call them stupid. I'm not going to call them ignorant. I'm just going to say we just need to do our job to the next generation is to show them how to maneuver better than we did. You know, because that's the space. When, isn't that what we want for our kids? So in a sense, the same, the same way we want better for our kids, we need to want better for the entire community. Man, I said it since day one, man. It's going to take a village. It's going to take a village to keep this thing going. If we want to keep this wave going, if we want to make it a lifestyle or a new way of life like Marcus was talking about, it's going to take us seriously backing the future. Shout out to, a Shout out to North Carolina okay. ANC, by the way. Mm-hmm. That's free promo, too. Just because I went there don't mean I got, you know. First, give it honor to God, who is head of my life. Oh. And... D Alabama A and M University. Uh, so, um, one thing, man, I would say is to all the the young people that's in the high school that's going off to college and everything else, make sure you know what you're going there for. It's okay to go ahead and just start thinking about it, start researching everything before you actually touch the campus. Um, I always go in with a plan and sometimes that plan might change, but it's okay. But long as you had a plan in the first place to keep yourself structured. So just make sure that you um, just keep going no matter what. Your, your plan your plan might change, but your purpose won't. So you got to make sure that you just keep on going no matter what. And also don't give up, man. Never give up. The time going to get hard. We all got to go through the waves and take the bumps and bruises, but never give up because you can always put your eyes on the end result. And that was going to always keep you um, convicted to getting to the end of your tunnel. So make sure you never give up and you never know your struggle might can end tomorrow or it can end in the next hour. Just keep on going with whatever you got uh, to accomplish. Goodness gracious, eh? <laughs> Goodness. <laughs>